Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, guys. Stace with me. Hey y'all. And we're talking about the calendar. Yes, the calendar. Talking about the big picture calendar, talking about the 6,000 years of human history. Mm hmm. And it seems as though our fathers want me to do a little work on this and make it to where it's something we can see visibly. Yeah, all the lots are telling you to, you can't seem to get out of this one. Yeah. Um, ever since we invented the celestial clock, the clock calendar, um, it seems like our father has wanted me to stay focused on the clock um, and how time works as if there's something yet to be discovered. Right. Some new revelation that he wants brought out mm -hmm. and he wants me to work on it. Yeah, I was about to say something missing that I guess need to be uh, completed. Yeah, I've been dreaming about it. Been, right. you know, like you talked about earlier, drawing lots. All the lots seem to point to continually working on this clock. So what I plan to do is just maybe put out videos on it and see if anything comes out. Yeah, and if everyone's wondering where is Coach, uh, he's here working on the clock. <laughs> Trying to figure out time and yeah. where we're all and and what our father wants us to know about his time and how his time works, or maybe particularly what time we're in. And right. that's kind of what we're going to talk about today: what time we're in. Okay. So I got some notes that I was working on from yesterday. So we'll just use those and we'll step down through here, looking at the last few years that we have before the 6,000 years is up. All right, so let's just draw this out real quick and see if anything comes out of it. Okay. Okay, first of all, let's draw us a clock here. It's amazing how we can um, demonstrate or illustrate our father's timepiece using a clock. But on this particular clock, we're looking at the 6,000 years of human history. So this 6,000 years represents the time between Adam and the second coming of the Messiah. Okay. The time in which we enter the seventh day or the millennial age, that 1,000 year period. Uh -huh. But now we learn from scripture, the testament of Abraham to be exact, that in this last time, 100 years will be considered an hour. Okay. And what's really interesting is if you take an hour to be 100 years, 60 hours is equivalent to 6,000 years. Mm -hmm. So a month is 6,000 years. So using an hour as 100 years, this is what a day will look like. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really interesting is that the year 6,000 would be the end of the six days, but the beginning of the millennial age will correspond to 6,001. But now you can watch several videos that we've done the calculation to determine that the year 5,994 started in the fall of the year 2021. We are currently now in the spring of 2022, so we're still in the year 5994. Right. So that means we have seven years until the millennial age starts. Okay. It puts our current time in somewhere right there. Mm -hmm. Because when you're looking over the course of the 6,000 years, the numbers will look like this. So 5,994 would be about right there. Right, and that occurred in 2021. That started in the year 2021. Right. Which started the last seven years mm -hmm. before the millennial age starts in the fall of the year 2028. Wow, okay. So the 11th hour would have began the year 5,500 from the creation of Adam. And since we're in the year 5994, we're a long ways past the 11th hour. Mm -hmm. So let's see what hour we're in. Right, okay. If we take 5,500 from 5,994, we end up with 494 years. Mm -hmm. 494 divided by 500 equals about 0.98. Right. Multiply that times 60. Mm -hmm. So that means the current time on the Father's sacred clock, as far as the 6,000 years of human history, our current time is 11, 59, and then 17 seconds. 17 seconds. Each year corresponds to about six seconds, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So in the year 2028, the fall of 2028, we'll be entering the kingdom age. Right. Mm -hmm. Year 6001. 
All right, so we got about seven years left, it looks like. So wow. that brings attention to how important these feast days and stuff are. Yeah, um, we have the um, second time that we're able to do Passover coming up in a couple of weeks. Second Passover is coming up for those who missed first Passover. Um, we have second Passover, and that's extremely important. Y'all check out some of the videos we have showing up, especially the one called The Way. Um, and even the video we have uh, called How Did the Messiah Die for Our Sins or something like that. Y'all check out those videos um, in the meantime. And if you got anything out of this video, let's chat about it in the comment section. Yeah, um, one of the things that you love doing is collaborating with others to get what, maybe they see something that you didn't see and um, you guys get together and, you know, come up with what the Father would have us to understand about these calendars. Yeah, we have to work together um, if we want to want to move ahead we got to combine what we know so mm -hmm. i'll see you guys in the comment section okay and with that we're gonna say shalom